Hey everybody, Ronaldo Waffram here with Media Master Video Manuals. Today I wanted to talk to you about the portability of Media Master. One of the great things about the software is that they made it so it's very easy to go from one computer to another. For example, this is one of my work machines. This is my DJ machine, but it also has a copy of Media Master. I also have one on my media server. But let's say that this machine that I have for an event or my media server goes out. The hard drive dies, power supply, motherboard, whatever the case may be. How do I get Arceus Media Master on a new computer? Well, you could transfer the license, but that can take a little bit of time. Well, thanks to this guy, you don't have to do that. This is the license dongle, and this tiny little USB device has a license built in. So as soon as I plug this into my computer, or whatever computer I have with Media Master on it, it'll automatically run but it makes it really easy so that way I don't have to worry about activating or deactivating machines. Now on my Mac, I actually have a couple different folders. The very first folder is the actual app folder. Now on Windows, I would have an EXE, but on Apple, I can just drag and drop or even run it right off the hard drive with no problem. And then I have my Arceus Visuals folder. That's what I call it. This is basically the folder with all of the visuals, which is usually found in your library. Uh, this has the geometric settings, custom soft edge settings, your clean net mapper, uh, the video mode mapper, li text library, everything like that. So basically this folder on your media master, when you find it in your library, you just drag and drop it. You can name it whatever the heck you want. So I named it Arceus Visuals. I plug that in. I'm ready to go. There's some extra folders in there that I use. There's obviously my DJ music and everything else. So then I'm going to go ahead and eject this hard drive. Let's pretend this computer just crashed. It's like, oh no, what do I do? Well, I'm going to go ahead and grab my wife's computer. I'm going to tell you how easy this is. I have never ran Media Master on her computer, ever. So I have my wife's computer up, ready to go. I've got the hard drive already plugged in. I've got the license dongle. And one of the important things, and a lot of you may already, you know, be thinking about it, is that yes, it is always better to install it from the DMG. You know, obviously if you're on Windows, you have to install it from the EXE. The DMG, you can run it right off your external hard drive. You can just drag and drop it, whatever you choose. But if you're in a pinch and you quickly got to plug in and go, you may not have time for that installation. So that's why I like to have a ready to go copy. However, you do need to install the driver for the actual dongle or the license dongle. This is usually automatically, well, this is always automatically installed whenever you install the DMG or the EXE. But when you're running it like this, you need that driver. And you can get that from the Arceus website. So I'm just going to go ahead and install it. And yes, again, I'm, I'm very aware it is much easier installing the DMG from scratch versus just a driver. But this is faster. Again, I'm in a pinch. I got to get going. So I've got this ready to go. And I'm going to open up my Media Master again straight off the external drive. Now, it may give you an error. Hey, there's no library located. You know, please select the library. Or it may ask you that when you first, you know, run the program. In this case, I'm just going to go here to my library. I'm going to choose that. There we go. There it is right there. There's a library ready to go. And I can just load my files, folders, whatever I need. Notice that it's not popping up demo or anything like that. Now, again, when you're running off an external drive, if you have several visuals in one folder like I do, it may take a second to load them at first. But once you go back, so here's the first one. There it is again it's logged in the system. Again, if you want to see real quick the license information right there, it's basically saying license dongle with pro license detected. So that makes it super easy. I'm going to go ahead and show you another interesting use of this. So let's go ahead and get out of there. I'm going to show you how this works with Windows. Now because I've already pre-installed the demo version of Media Master, the dongle drivers and everything are already included. I do not need to reinstall that. Again, you cannot run the Windows version of Media Master right off the external drive without pre or actually installing it. And they'll tell you the same thing, you know, with Apple, but I've gotten good success running it right off the drive without a prior installation. Okay, so it automatically pops up. And when I go into my manage license, there it is right there, license dongle with pro license detected but the library is empty. Well, I just got to go into my uh, visuals here, my library folders. I'm going to set my root folder, and there's my backup drive. I'm going to click on my Arceus visual folder and click OK. I must, I must, I must urge you, 
make sure if you know you're going to run across both systems, don't try to use HFS, don't try to use NTFS. Those are proprietary formats for Windows and App, uh, Apple. And what happens is if this was a straight Windows computer, meaning not running on parallels, I could not read this hard drive unless I had a third-party software. Third-party softwares we want to avoid when we want to have the fastest readout from a hard drive. So use something like FAT32 or any type, you know, any FAT format. Uh, I just prefer FAT32 as long as files aren't bigger than 4 gigs. And if so, you may want to have a Windows drive and a Mac drive ready to go. Uh, but that being said, it's ready to go. I mean, you know, it loads up right away. I can go ahead and load up another one here if I'd like to choose to. So there's another visual there. And all the stuff that I had, you know, any preferences as far as my, whoops, there we go, my positions, that all gets transferred. My, you know, these little like faders here that I customized, I haven't really customized them at all. Um, not for that particular install that I backed up, but that does get transferred as well, which is really nice. Another nice thing about the license dongle is that to prevent piracy, Arceus does require the computer to go online every 90 days to just say, hey, this isn't a bootleg machine. Well, problem is, if you're always on the road, you may not want that machine going online ever. Or it may just not, you may not have internet access and it'll hit you the worst time too. With this dongle, I don't have that issue. So that's something really nice within itself. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or anything like that, leave a comment below. You guys have a great night and God bless.